To deepen democratic practice in Nigeria, the United States has imposed visa ban on individuals who it said undermined conduct of the November 2019 Kogi and Bayasa governorship elections. It said the move was in the run-up to the September and October 2020 Edo and Ondo governorship polls. Spokesperson for the Department of State, Morgan Atagas, announced this on Monday in a statement. Although the U.S. government did not reveal the identities of those who have been banned, it said the ban was in furtherance of its commitment to strengthening democracy in Nigeria. Joining us to discuss this is Wale Ugumade, legal practitioner as well as a political analyst. We also have joining us Victor Kai, a former presidential candidate. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us um, on the news. I'll start with you, Mr. Ugumade. What is the import of this ban? Well, the import is that it will really give and send a signal to all election riggers, particularly the political class, that election is election. Election is not about robbery, it's not about violence, it's not about manipulation. Election, as we all know, is the will of the people, allowing the will of the people to come there up, not your own wish. Is the people that are involved, and as we call it in our own crime, we call it that is the voters' festival. And since it's the voters' voters' festival, you allow the voters' will to prevail, not your own will. And that's why the, the, the opportunity of choice is there. And if you eventually want to circumvent the political process through rigging, manipulating, using violence, talks, and so on, then definitely there must be sanction. And unfortunately, our group, which is Voters Awareness Initiative, have been in the forefront of electoral, uh, to, 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 to sanitize the electoral process. And one of the things that we've been calling and making, uh, uh, have been working on is that indeed there must be credible election, which must be fair, free and fair, devoid of violence. And of course, we have had a reign of impunity because INEC itself, and the government particularly have refused to uh, penalize or to even sanction those who are involved in election rigging. But we all know that Nigerian politicians, save for COVID, will always want to jump out at any time to any part of the world that they want to. But with this sanction now, and I pray that it will even be done or uh, uh, copied by other countries of the world, because democracy is the rule all over the world. And where there is no uh, genuine democracy, people will be looked at as if they are not, uh, what sort of people are you? And to me, I really I welcome this issue, and I want it to be real, to be given all the necessary teeth it deserves. But one thing I know again about is about that, is about the fact that in, in America particularly, once such an issue is, uh, uh, policy is made, it cannot be reversed. Not like Nigeria, that along the line it will be swept under the carpet. And to that, to me, it is a strong signal, particularly coming now that the Edo election is, on, is just some four days away, that those who are perpetrators of this uh, act should just take caution and ensure that you have a peaceful election in Edo State. That's all. All right. Uh, let's come to you, Mr. Okai. Uh, some would say the import of this ban would be deflated if they do not name those who have been banned, placed on that list uh, by the U.S.? Well, um, there, there, there are two ways to look at um, this ban. Uh, on, the, on the one hand, what has happened uh, may amount, in a way, to interference in our internal affairs, because that's a party judgment, really. But on the other hand, I think it's a very good and very healthy development as well because of the signal it sends, like uh, uh, Wale has said. Um, what, I want, what I want to say here is, I think the biggest lesson to learn from this is that um, while you may do all your PR, you may pretend that all is well as a government or as an electoral body. The international observers are no fools. They are on ground and they see what is happening and they make their reports very quietly and make their recommendations to their home governments and uh, to the people who have sent them to come and observe. And as COVID has demonstrated, uh, we are all, you know, COVID has made us all levelers and this will also further level the field because 
like what he said, when you when you, when they do what they do, they can quickly evacuate their families and take them out. It is important to name them. It, it would have been nice to name them, but the reason it, it would not be easy to name them is like passing judgment. Uh, and only a court can do that. I stand to be corrected. Uh, you can only say who you suspect, but nobody can stop you from saying, oh, because of what you have done, even if they don't tell you formally, sorry, you cannot come back to my country. It is left for them to know, because they know themselves. You know, so to that extent, I think it is very good for us. All right, I'll come back to you, Mr. Gwadi. Uh, writing off what Mr. Kai said about um, um, its effect on our sovereignty, I, I want to ask, is this decision fair? Because the, the Nigerian court has not de described vote election as flawed. There are some conduct or acts that you need not prove. Uh, like we normally say in law, facts that have been admitted need to be proved. Or, again, the second leg, equality rest is salopito. The fact speaks for itself. I mean, on election day, you know that there are, there are, there are, there are talks who come up to disturb this process. Uh, votes are manipulated. And co and co. so many, I don't want to spend time doing this. Uh, maybe we'll have another time that we'll really look at all these issues. And when there are people who promote it, and the Electoral Act is clear on this, that not only are the riggers themselves, but they are, because most of them, these uh, politicians don't come out, you don't see them, but you see their act, uh, you see their agents who come out to disturb people. Some of them even wear their party uh, uh, emblem and so on. But be that as it may, the mere fact that rather than going out to vote with your thumb, they come out with cutlasses and gadgets to disturb people, come out with guns to shoot in the air and to scare people away, to cause mayhem, to disturb the process, is enough. Fairness, I really welcome this sanction and I pray and I want it to be effected all over the world that all any Nigerian politician that is involved in rigging, even if he's in a remote way, a remote in the sense that it's his agent, even he did not send him. Uh, he just that person carried out that act because of his, uh, of his own interest. Such a person will be punished. And I, yesterday, I was uh, been uh, because I just left Benin. I'm in Nabuja now. Um, some uh, uh, the, the, uh, the general, former head of state, General Salam Abubakar, was there to talk with all the parties involved in the election issue. And of course, the issue is that go vote, not use your thumb, not cutlasses, not other gadgets or gadgets or uh, things that will scare people away. Once that is done, then obviously we we'll have peace. It is the wish of the people that we want to prevail, not the wish of the gun or the wish of force. Election is about interest, protecting the interest of the people, the generality of the people, and not that of the same, some minority using one way or the other, manipulating the votes for their own selfish interest. Obviously, that is not election and that is not democracy. As a schoolboy will define democracy, it is the will of the people, is the is the, is the wish of the people. The, 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 by the, for, is the, how do I call it now? Is the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the people who determine that who comes in and, uh, and rule them, not some people sitting down in a corner and manipulating the process to their own advantage. Um, if we have time, we will definitely be looking at some of these um, this manipulation you are talking about, and of course your um, request that this be replicated across uh, the world. But let's go to Mr. Okai and and ask this question. Some some are saying this decision is hypocritical that the U.S. has got its own electoral fraud to deal with. Um, now they are telling us how to run our own democracy. Do you agree with that position? Well, you know, as I said, as I said earlier on, what has happened uh, in a way, directly and indirectly, is like meddling in the internal affairs. But because the world is too interrelated right now, uh, every country takes an interest in what happens in other countries. Uh, you saw what just happened in Mali. Um, uh, Togo is another country that is boiling right now. In fact, in the West African region, uh, the reason that many of the uh, leaders were insisting on, on the former leader remaining in spite of all the um, electoral breaches was because three of them were heading for, were come to get a uh, general allocation. Uh, now, this cannot be allowed. Uh, the wish of the people must be respected. But how do you know the wish of the people? Only if there is a free and fair electoral process. Um, 
if you were to look at it in legal way, then whatever is announced, whatever is announced by the electoral body is the legal is the legal judgment, uh, is the legal uh, uh, result. But it may not be the actual result. And so when you truncate the people's wish, then uh, the people react because the majority remains the majority. What happened in Kuki and uh, what the other state now recently uh, is, you know, uh, people saw it and, and, and they thought they had gotten away with it. But observers who were on ground saw what happened. It's a very clear signal to a do and undo. However, whether or not the people, the, the, the thugs will respect this is something is which what I really do not know. Because the leadership will always pretend as if they have, I mean, I've heard of it, in the new for instance, I'm not to be about the name. But uh, it's not about the candidate, yeah, but they're not going to go out there to, you know, um, if you like, fight, you know. It is the people of the, the what they call the lions and the tigers that are going out there to fight. And so I have, and these are not the people that are going abroad. So somebody has to remove the account to. And so if it is under your watch, you know, if it is if, 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 if seen as if you have influenced or allowed it to take place, then you should pay the price. And I think that is what is happening right now. Uh, the interference is not very healthy, but maybe necessary at a time like this. Okay, with concerns about it not being healthy for our democracy, Mr. Gwadi, um, do you actually believe countries like you suggested earlier should take a cue and replicate this for politicians across the world? <clears throat> yes, my sister, and I just want to appreciate what uh, Victor just said some few seconds ago. Uh, some people just woke up in Mali. There are processes and there are protocol and there are rules and regulations that governs election. There are ways to change a government. You can go civil. I mean, we did it in Nigeria some years ago when the military refused to go. We went civil and eventually we drove Babangida out of office. And it's gone, it, there is no how a military can be so tough that it will overwhelm the people. The people will always overwhelm the military. They will over, always overwhelm the government. But for the military now to now say they want to intervene on behalf of the people, obviously, not they don't have the mandate of the people. They are there to represent their own interest. And that's why the world must not allow such thing that is happening in Mali to continue. And again, I, I further state that the world should not allow election rigging to, to continue in Nigeria. And for you to come, for me, for you to, and everyone who is listening, uh, hearing us or watching us to confirm what I'm saying, is it only in Nigeria that you have election? But you see that immediately after an election in Nigeria, the next thing is that people go to court. It is the court that determines because rigging has been involved in the process. It is not transparent. That's why people go to court. In other countries of the world, people should just call and say, yes, in, in India or in this country, this is what happened. You don't find this type of a scene in, in there. It's only in Nigeria that it has taken a big issue that you know that an election is coming. Rather than planning to win fair and square, you plan to rig or to cause commotion, then you go to court and get it upturned because you use the court to get it done. And of course, again, I'm an election lawyer. I, I, I am involved in election petition. And you find out that sometimes you just look at it that why are these things done? Because the laws are weak. And because the, uh, the Nigerian politician knows that they can, uh, they can circumvent the law, they, they, they do it with impunity. But if other countries in place sanction, don't forget that the world is a global village now. Whatever happens to Nigeria happens to everyone all over. And I think that the best thing is that everyone should just support this project done by the American government. And even, I just as I said, replicate it all over the world. Then there will be sanity. Because even if a politician in Ghana a politician in Indonesia or a politician in Germany wants to be involved in anything called electoral fraud, he knows that it will not fly. It will be dead on arrival. And because of that, everyone will just be, be behave themselves. In the absence of that, what we'll have is chaos. What we'll have will be manipulation. Just as that uh, slide that you showed now, people are there queuing. They have wasted time. They have invested their time in queuing under the rain or under the sun. And... Some people will just come and disturb that. Obviously, it's not fair. And the way that there must be a punishment for it. And the, it should even be more than that, uh, just be, uh, visa ban. They must even be banned for 10 years, 20 years, or even not allowed to contest or even occupy any public office whatsoever. 
Anyway, we in the Voters Awareness Initiative, we are working seriously on further uh, uh, sanitizing the electoral process. And for information, part of the sanity that we introduce is why I next now made some rules and regulations that any politician who is involved in Togri will be removed from the ballot box. And of course, you can be sure of from the ballot paper. And maybe that's why some element of sanity has come in, because initially you knew that definitely there were acts of toggery all over Edo State campaigns were disrupted here and there. And of course, how language are used. Now there's some element of sanity. Uh, and but Bade, again, what, 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 what happens? That you you, you talked about to God. arrest the situation further. Uh, Mr. Gwade, you talked about courts um, making the decision for us um, after elections. Yeah. When you say uh, that INEC should remove politicians, um, how sure are you that after the elections they're not going to go back to court and the whole effort will be derailed and they will, the court will say, oh, you omitted this person, come and do the elections again. We've seen uh, situations like that happen. Yes, section 222 and 222 gives INEC the power to conduct and regulate issues concerning elections in this country. By, by, by extension, there's what we call the ouster clauses. You see, once a, a statutory body has been given power to carry out a, a, an assignment, if it's done, it, if it's done in a statutory way, uh, according to the rules and regulation invested on it, obviously you go to court and you can be assured that when people go to court, you have people, uh, judgment or judges saying that, well, that the matter, the, matter, uh, the, 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 the claim complainant or the claimant is a busybody or that the court has no jurisdiction to hear the matter or that the person is a medium interloper. But be that as it may, these are issues that, again, just as I said, let us test the law. Let people be, be, be banished, let them be punished, let them be banned, and let them go to court. And of course, don't forget that lawyer, I have lawyers too. They will go to court and present the facts before the court that this is the reason why we took this decision. All and right. of course, <laughs> it will stand. You can be sure that it will stand. The All only right. thing is let, that let's... people have not been able to test the law. And sometimes the political class have been able to circumvent and use their political uh, power to now make things work. I wish INEC is independent indeed in words. Anytime I have intervention with them, I tell them that, look, you have the power. Some few years ago, the, the political uh, the INEC was not involved in monitoring political parties when they are conducting their congress, uh, congresses and so on. That's why you see a political party going, living on your state and going to a kitty or, or your, uh, your Elisha to conduct its con a, a congress to, uh, to elect or to select. Uh, uh, but that has changed now. But now, uh, because there is no INEC officer in that congress. So all these things, we are moving the process so that indeed democracy will be ingrained, will be, will be sustained, and of course, will be better. And all of right. course, let, these let, are the let's bring in Mr. Okai. that we put in in place for it to come up. Let's bring in Mr. Okai. I mean, um, a ban, um, though you're skeptical about it, you still see some merit in it acting as some sort of deterrent. Is it going to be strong enough? From what we've seen in Edo and Ondo um, uh, states ahead of the elections, how impactful would this decision be? Well, uh, if it is for the thugs, it would have no impact whatsoever. They hardly get visas to travel anywhere. So, um, I mean, it should be told, it would mean nothing to them. Um, what, where the impact would be, which is why this is also not bad, is um, where people are held accountable, their principals are held accountable. Because at the end of the day, it's their principles that give them arms, that give them money, and that instigate them to go out there and do ballot snatching and, um, and um, perpetuate violence. So, um, so to that extent, um, it would hopefully uh, make them a bit cautious. But the thing about Nigerian politicians is they don't care. They can always travel to Dubai. I have to be very honest with you. Um, the U.S. is not such a hot cake anymore for for politicians in any case, because uh, many of them, a lot, not not all, a few rather, are not that clean. So they, they have options. They can go to Dubai. They can go to so many other countries, you know, that are not so, you know, uh, how do I put it, to, what to, put, to store their loot and to do whatever they want to do. But what is significant about this is the message that it sends. Uh, Wally has said, all countries, many countries should replicate it. 
But you see, this is like using what you have to determine how you want things to go. You know, um, what the U.S. is using is its visa, which it is it perceives is a strong inducement or a strong uh, um, a, a whip, if you like, to to put some of these people in check. Uh, so it's using what it's got. Uh, but if the European Union as a body can begin to do the same, then we can begin to see a little bit of impact. Um, I'm not sure I can convince the UAE to do this. I'm not sure I can convince uh, China, although it's not a, a hot destination right now, but it's a beginning. So, but if it is about the impact on the ordinary person perpetuating these crimes on the streets of Edo and Undo on election day, frankly, it would not make any difference. Beyond this intervention, Mr. Gwadi, what can we do as a nation? You, you alluded to read earlier, Rigas and all of that. What can we do as a nation to get punitive actions against those um, who rig our election? Because over the years, it just stops at court pronouncements. Okay. I will say this. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's a simple thing. You see, uh, when David dealt with Goliath in the in the book of uh, in in the Bible, uh, the other Philistines ran away, and of course they make a, a, a show of them. Uh, here too, it is it lies on the people. It is the people that will save themselves. We in the civil society will say your destiny is in your hand. The only it is the Nigerian people that can save themselves from this challenge, this issue that is on ground, because. Just as I said on the slide you, you showed some few seconds ago, you, we, we, we go through a lot to, 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 to vote. Some people you, know, you need to see, like there was a time before I could get myself registered to vote, I had to trek because there was no, uh, the, 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 the voting sister, center was not near me. I had to trek because, of course, you know that there is always a lockdown. I had to trek it, like, more than 20 kilometers before I could vote. And after voting, the election was not there. Uh, obviously, that's not too good enough, but it's the way the people that will move, that know we want this, is about mass, 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 mass protest now. Because if we say we want to go to the courts, the law and re the laws per se will not support it. Mm -hmm. If we say that the, rule, the laws should be, um, implement, uh, should be amended in that regard, who are the lawmakers? They are politicians, and most of them are tribe on election rigging. So there's no way that they can move against themselves. The only way is that the people must move together, form a mass together, and say no to election again. And one of the things is that, of course, we started again in voters' awareness, encouraging people to watch their votes. So after voting, you stand and do a, become a guard that, yes, election must be, the result must be counted. And don't forget that the part of the regulation INEC has in place now is that after the election, immediately, immediately, the result, the, the ballot is opened, they are counted and pasted there, and the result is announced to be hold uh, people around there to know. And of course, you know, before, what they normally do is that the law was that the, the result of the, the election, after voting, you take it to a police polling station. And of course, the people, the politician now manipulated it that, no, it's not the polling station, let's go and count in the police station. In between, things, something will happen to the, elect, to the ballot box. But now, election, the, the, the result is counted there, there and then. And to, to me, that's an improvement. All we want is that people who are in the various localities should get their votes. Once you get your vote, then it will be difficult for manipulators and riggers to rig the election. But again, if they want to do it high wire, then the international community will, will be there waiting for them. Yes, I agree that Dubai is a, near, is a destination hub for all the politicians now. But don't forget that they have children. And most of them want their children to study in America and in other advanced countries of the world. And that's why they'll be waiting for them. All they will do is that, yeah, this only matches the name of this politician that you have banned. That's all. You will not allow their children to go to school there. It's a consequence, of course, even if they have their money stolen there, they cannot withdraw. So at the end of the day, maybe we'll have something like a return of the Abata loot. Look, we have to sit down and think about how we can secure our, our, our democracy. Yeah, Just let, as let, I said some few seconds Mr. ago, some, is it um, only in Nigeria that you have elections? Why is it that it's only in Nigeria that you have all these crises all the time? Rigging, uh, toggery, 
killing. Why? Shedding of blood. Right, Destruction. Let's, let's bring Why? in Mr. Kai Why? for some As of I, his I putting this question across to people, let us think how we can solve it. All right, let's, uh, uh, staying with the issue of a vegan, I mean, you cannot, one of the, you, you said, um, Mr. Gwade, you said uh, people should stay back and make sure that their vote counts. But I, I, I want to ask you, Mr. Okai, one of the major concerns of uh, election is violence. Uh, how can uh, people really um, stay to count, what, what can make them stay? How can our security um, agencies up their game to encourage people to stay and do what Mr. Oguade has advocated? Uh, there's a lack of uh, sincerity across boards in this country. Uh, I'm going to shake some tables right now. Uh, the, we, the civil society has lost most of the I say most of his teeth, there may be a few left to count, but he has lost most of his teeth because many people in civil society have become politicians and they are working for political parties. Uh, the media to a very large extent is still standing. We have very strong uh, media, but there are many that have been compromised. Now, why am I referring to this too? If you go back to June 12, these were the voices of the masses. These were the mobilizers. These were the conscience of the nation, the people that spoke and moved people, the people that the people that Nigerians looked up to for leadership in the absence of true leadership. You know, they were the ones that pointed people in the right direction. But as they say, uh, in bad manners to talk where you are chopping. Many of them are now chopping, so they're no longer uh, talking. And uh, but is, is that, that, a, fair, is that a fair assessment, Mr. Okai? Because we know that organizations like... I am like... making a generalization to help me very carefully. Okay. Eh? I did not make a sweeping generalization. Okay. I, I didn't make a sweeping generalization. I just spoke and said a few people, and you know, that there are, there are, you know, sometimes one finger in an oil can, can spoil the rest. But the truth is, we have lost the bite. There's no doubt about it. We have lost the bite. There is no, there is no leadership anymore to point out, to point uh, the masses generally in the direction to go, as happened in, uh, in, in 1993 and 1994, you know? So right now, the issue of elections is like, okay, if we do it, let it just go. You will find clearly, I, in, you go to some many states, I don't want to mention any now, go to local governments. You will see posters of a, one particular political party, which means you cannot go there and say anything to the contrary. You know, everything there has to be in the way of that particular political party. When you go to certain polling booths, you find that there are some people there who will just come and you, if you speak even as a minority, they can just attack you there. So you just keep quiet. You cannot say anything. These are harsh realities. Let's not deceive ourselves. These are things of the ground in Nigeria today. Eh? Unfortunately, we don't have, we have, um, what do you call it now, uh, what is this body that is supposed to be, uh, the government, uh, uh, what's it called, the National Orientation Agency, that is, uh, that is silent. I expect to hear them telling Nigerians what to do, how to conduct themselves, and how to, if you like, whether defend or protect their votes or whatever. You don't hear anything. And that's why they, there's so much apathy right now, because people don't know what to say. And you go to the security forces, you're not even assured of protection. Okay, I, I'm, told we have, I'm told what we have very limited time. Uh, so I'll stay Hello? with you. I'm told we have very limited time left for this conversation, but I'll still stay with you and um, I'll ask two questions in one, and I would appreciate okay. if, you're, if you can respond as quickly as possible. Um, okay. The, the signing of peace pact, um, is that one way to help with the situation and the, you know, the prominence, bringing back to prominence the conversation around independent candidates? Because you talked about party uh, supremacy, uh, you alluded to that. Is that one way to help with our electoral process? Quickly. Is that me? Is that a question for me? Yes, Mr. Okai, I'm staying with you. Just as quickly as you can. Okay, so the issue of... Uh um what was the first question i remember the one 
Uh, I'm talking about um, independent candidacy and the signing of peace pacts. Is that maybe one okay. way to, you know, well, also okay. address the issue of yeah, electoral okay. violence? See, uh, the thing about the thing about about peace pact is uh, the people who sign the peace pact are not the ones who go out to the streets to, to fight. It's an open, it's an open message, but they can escalate it if this peace pact uh, is, um, is if it is filmed and circulated among the members. But the more important peace pact is to get these leaders to go out and talk to their people. Otherwise, signing peace pact does not make a difference. It can work in a place like Edo, where, in fact, I expected the other to go a step further. The same way trafficking has been almost eliminated to zero in Edo by a simple pronouncement of, of a curse. Because the people respect the other, and when it says whoever engages in trafficking, pronounce a curse, and believe me, it all but disappears. I, you know, that kind of, that kind of influence I expect. Like in Edo, the other has the power to do that, and I wish he had gone a step further to even make that kind of pronouncement. But in other places, it's difficult. Only the political leaders themselves, who have the, who are, to, if they are truly sincere, can ensure. They are the ones that are guilty. They are the ones that can affect it. All if they right, don't um, do it, you can sign the task and this back, nothing will happen. As for right. independent candidacy, okay. um, I don't know how well it can work in this country. We haven't given it a chance. But uh, because I know that there are people who are rich enough to be able to mobilize across the country, who may be popular enough, but unless we try, we don't know how it's going to work. I'm not even sure that that's even a, a guarantee because um, having even smaller parties is the same as having independent candidates. All right, Mr. You know? Okay. So, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's hard to say right now because we've never tried it in this country, to the best of my knowledge. And um, it's not even working in places like the U.S. where we know that it is allowed. So, but until it's tried, and we say I work in Nigeria, it's hard to say what impact or how, right. what this, difference it will make in the electoral system. Thank you, Mr. Kai. Mr. Ogwade, um, in 30 seconds, your final thoughts, please. Well, I adopt the sentiments just uh, expressed by my brother, Okai, and that's just it. It is when force is matched with force that you get it. And don't forget that you are a traditional people in Nigeria particularly. So if another places a cause, <laughs> God help you. The only way out is that you avoid that cause by not doing or going against the act of that cause. That's all. Because the other leg again is that the law itself is giving some teeth. And again, I challenge anyone to tell me that indeed, since how many election regards have been brought to book? have been chilled or prosecuted successfully. If they go scot-free, then definitely it gives room for impunity for people to continue. But once one or two people are made as scapegoats and ensure that they indeed go to jail, people know, they see, they make a public show of them, then definitely you know that people will sit tight and everybody, will, that there will be sanity around and around, around and around and around. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Walugwade, and of course, uh, Mr. Victor Kai, for coming on The Breakfast this morning. Your thoughts and your time is highly appreciated. Thanks again. Thank you. To God be the glory.